What is up, Keller Williams agents? This is Sam Jackson uh, in command with Sam. I'm the uh, director of innovation and technology for Keller Williams in North Atlanta. And today I'm going to show you uh, how you connect your new uh, website into KW Command. Uh, now, today is October 2nd. We had a pretty big announcement yesterday, which was uh, supposed to be our command uh, agent website launch date. Uh, however, we got some really exciting news from Neil DeLocchia about uh, one o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern time, that we're actually going to give ourselves a grace period. We've extended our relationship with Playster uh, for another three weeks. So the new launch date for your agent websites is October the 22nd. So we now have three more weeks to get prepared uh, to get everything transferred from your Playster website into KW Command. So uh, before we even jump into it, one of the first things you want to do is actually go to uh, to Playster's uh, customer service line and ask for them to email you a download of your website. So what they'll give you is actually uh, a zip file full of all of your pages with all the content, which would be something you want to save on your computer regardless, because uh, I believe that after October 22nd, uh, it's going to be harder to get access to that, uh, that content. So do that first. Uh, but today what I'm going to show you is actually how to access uh, the Kelly guide within KDB command to get your website ready to go. And then also um, some different resources on what you need to do to get moving forward. But uh, let's get connected. So I'm going to sign into KDB command. Let me get started here. Now, um, seeing uh, on like the Facebook pages within KDB command, I see a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of folks are really, really excited that we have this extra time. Uh, I know personally, um, I'm super looking forward to the new KW command websites. I've been able to see a couple of the sneak peeks. Uh, on the uh, latest in the labs and tech talk webinars. It's going to be really, really dynamite. Looking forward to having that uh, awesome Amazon-like experience for, for real estate. So uh, the first thing you just want to do is come into KW Command. And I have to move my picture here. Um, but on the right, or I'm sorry, on the left-hand side of your screen, uh, we're going to go down to the landing pages, which is actually the bottom uh, icon that's actually active right now, just above the blank listing consult. Click on landing pages. And then you'll see here that we have landing pages at the top, we have your agent site page, and then we also have neighborhood pages. Uh, we want to click on the agent site page, the middle option. And you're gonna see this to be blank, but what we're gonna do is actually scroll down on your computer. So if this is blank, scroll down. Depending on your screen and your settings, you might be able to see this, but the uh, learn more with the Kelly guides is at the very, very bottom of this page. So click on that. Give that a second to load. And then you'll see here, what I love is that we just have four simple little things that we have to do, and then you're going to be prepared for October 22nd. So uh, click on Get Started, and we're just going to walk through this guide. Let me move my face back over. And there's a little bit of a sneak peek of uh, what we're looking at here with the new Hero pages, so this is really cool. Now, the first thing you have to do is actually pick your subdomain. So uh, I believe that if you currently, uh, and I'll use my, my name for example, if uh, my Placer website directs to samjackson.kw.com, one of the subdomains that you want to put in place here would be samjackson.kw.com. That way they're making sure that everything redirects properly. Uh, that's in particularly important if you've went ahead and bought a custom URL on like GoDaddy or another site. You wanna make sure that that same uh, subdomain matches up with what your Placer account was, or you have the chance to rebrand yourself. So if yours is like your first initial and your last name, um, or, or something completely uh, different, here's your chance to kind of uh, select a custom subdomain for uh, your command sites moving forward. So uh, for this example, I don't want to steal any uh, accidentally. I'm just going to take demo mc181.kw.com. So this means that that will be my new website. It would be demo mc181.kw.com. Okay, I'm going to click on claim domain. Cool, congrats, you have claimed your domain. So now I'm gonna click on your marketing profile information. Now this should auto-populate if you've gone ahead and already done your marketing profile within command. So I hope by this point in time, most of you have already done this, so this should be relatively easy, kind of zipping through. If not, you're gonna to have to go through and complete all this information. So uh, click on Demo MC, my first name, last name is all good. Uh, my market center was pre-selected, all the information was there. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit here. I'm gonna take my information and clean it up to suite 100. Team or business name, so this is the demo demo team. If you have a team or if you have a, uh, a business name, put it in there. Professional title, I'm hoping that most of you have Realtor in here. Your email, your phone number, everything should be good. If not, you're gonna push all this information in here. Agent license number, pretty self-explanatory. You're just basically filling out a field. 
I'm going to go ahead and if uh, the other cool thing here is if you have uh, links or um, compliance uh, footers or, or legal matters that you often link to, uh, whether that be like a consumer notice, this is where you put the hyperlink into that, uh, that title and space. So you put the title here as in consumer notice. And I did not prepare, but this is where you would upload that actual link. Let me go ahead and dump that because I'm not going to use it. Uh, your profile picture, make sure that is nice and clean. Um, the same thing with your DBA logo and your team logo. Mine are all pretty much the same because this is a demo account, but you're going to have some variances here. This should be your headshot. Uh, the DBA logo should be your Market Center logo, which you can find that on KDB Connect. And then also your uh, team logo or agent logo would be here as well. Social media links going to go through and connect. So right now I have the uh, Keller Williams uh, North Atlanta Facebook page attached, but you would go grab your business page URL on Facebook, copy and paste it in here. Same thing with Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, and then also your KW branded app. You click save and continue. All right, and you'll see that we're moving along. So we got our subdomain and now we're picking our style and theme. So right now we have just two options. We have the red KW theme and we have the dark KW theme. So if I click on this, you'll see uh, over here on the KW logo, we're gonna have a change here. So I click on the dark KW, that now goes to the uh, black and white version. I like the red, we're gonna stick with that. And then this is where we're putting in our homepage text. So uh, this would be something like find your dream home. If you wanna edit and customize this, feel free to. Uh, for the sake of this, I'm just gonna zip through uh, the, the widget. Um, if you want to actually upload a homepage hero page, so this is the, uh, the house background that you see currently, um, it's recommended that you do this 1200 by 1200 and you can upload up to five images. Um, the most important thing though is that this will be a public facing website. So I uh, discourage you from posting any photos that you do not have the rights to. Uh, you can get in a little bit of trouble for that. Uh, actually you get a lot of trouble for that for copyrighted material. So uh, only use photos that you have the rights to put in here. Um, for most part, just don't touch it. You can have your um, uh, your stock photography that's provided by Keller Williams, unless you're in like a, uh, a certain city that doesn't have uh, this type of foliage. All right, so I'm gonna go through, click save and continue. I like how that looks. And then again, I'm just keep moving on my content here. So you can see exactly what I have uh, on the left side of this preview. Uh, can be edited here on the right-handed side. Uh, it's going to be important that you kind of go through and be very, very specific with your SEO descriptions. Uh, there's a few guides within KDB Connect, and I'll link them in the description below on best practices with SEO. Uh, I think for the most part, though, um, it's best to kind of uh, remain hyper-local. So whatever city that you're working in, or even specifically uh, what farming area, if you're specifically going after one subdivision, uh, make sure that you mention that and homes for sale and real estate and go with the keywords there. Uh, the important thing too, though, is with a lot of these things, you want to make sure that you are still genuine. You're writing full sentences. Okay. I'm just going to leave this blank for now. I'm going to click continue. Uh, and then this is your about me section. So this is filling in why um, people should buy into you, things about your personality, uh, why we should be in business with you. I'm going to complete this. And obviously, we're the best. That's why. And then I can click on this content and just filling out the information. So you just want to kind of go through this guide in a lot more detail than I'm going in today. Uh, but this is your contact us page. Uh, have some fun with this one. But uh, this is super easy. You're just filling in some information, uh, clicking continue. And then once you're all said and done, as long as you don't have any errors because you forgot to fill in some information, you are good to go. So I'm not sure how long that video was, but um, within a matter of minutes, this might take you a little bit longer because you're gonna be more thorough with the content, but your Kelly website and your command website will be ready to go by October 22nd, and you already have your domain name claimed. So um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave some uh, comments or questions in the comment section below, or feel free as always to email me, look me up, uh, tell Kelly to find Sam Jackson and uh, get in touch. Thanks for watching and uh, stay in command.